Yo, what is going on guys? It's Ratonic here and today I'm back with another video. I'm gonna actually be showing you guys how to get the touchpad to work on the PS5 controller and the PS4 controller. For those of you who don't know how to do it. So yeah, it's a pretty simple tutorial. It's not hard at all. If you guys don't know how to use DS4 Windows, I'll make sure I link down below the old tutorial I did, which is the exact same as setting up the PS5 controller on it. Same for PS4. And then I'll also put a card on the screen right now so you guys can click on that and go to that video first and then you guys can come back here after. I'll also be showing you guys how to get rid of some bugs that you might have when you guys are setting it up that I've seen you know some of you guys have a lot of you guys so instead of answering every single one individually I'll just make a video it's easier. So yeah I'll go ahead and show you guys all those issues I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If it helps you guys make sure you guys please go ahead and drop a like it helps out a lot and if you're a Fortnite player go ahead and use Coder Tonic in the item shop if you purchase anything i'd really appreciate it see you guys later peace Alrighty, guys so you guys should pretty much already know that the first thing you do when you're trying to get the least amount of input delay is have it connected through bluetooth which i already do and if you guys want to do that again other tutorial but you guys can go watch that first but uh yeah let's go ahead and get into the profile thing so a lot of people are having like they keep getting the invalid like profile name thing and it's honestly so weird. I don't understand why this is an issue, but sometimes you literally just have to keep trying different names until one of them works. It really doesn't matter what the name is on the profile. But sometimes it'll just keep saying like, please enter a valid profile name or something. So I just literally, that's why it says what's better. Like I literally just keep trying stuff until one of the names works. So yeah, now we're going to get into uh, helping you guys with the uh, touchpad. So first thing you want to do is make sure when you go to this touchpad tab right here that you have it selected as controls you don't want any of these really you can use them but i don't um what you want to do is you actually want to click on the touchpad picture and then set it to the back button on the xbox controller and you want to do that for left touch right touch multi-touch and you guys want to do it for the back touch as well and that works for the ps4 controller and the ps5 controller and when you go into your game whatever um just have it set on the xbox config so that way when you uh, go ahead and uh, 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 when you guys go ahead and bind something to that back button on your keybinds in whatever game you're playing when you actually press your touchpad it'll think that it's an xbox controller back button so it'll work just like that and uh yeah that was pretty much how you fix the touchpad thing it's super simple wait what just happened did my recording stop well i guess it's a good time to talk about hyperx yes sir Yo guys, make sure you guys go ahead and check out HyperX. I'm going to drop a link down in the description, the first link for HyperX's website. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out some of their gaming headsets. They have mice, keyboards, memory, literally everything. I love their stuff. So big shout out to them for helping me with this video. And if you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And yes, sir, go check out the website. Back to the video. Now, another bug that people were getting, which I actually don't know how you don't realize this, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys anyway. Um, some people were having the like touchpad using as a mouse. Again, you want to make sure it has control so you don't get a mouse. Um, second, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to fix your drift on your controller. So if you guys get like a lot of drift when you're playing games and it has to do with, you know, you using this software, if you don't get drift outside the software, then you guys want to make sure you are tweaking with your dead zone. Sometimes you have to put it at like, at, like 12 and on an X and or on the left and right stick it'll fix it yeah sometimes you have to put it like 12 on both the uh left and right stick and that'll normally fix your problem for the drift another thing people were asking me was why my controller like you know ms my input delay was so low and i'm using it wireless right now while it's plugged into the wall so you guys want to make sure that you guys get a good bluetooth adapter even though you have bluetooth in your pc or you even you have a bluetooth adapter um, a lot of times they're, you know, they, they're not really built to last and normally only like $10. And to be honest, I normally buy a new one every like three months. I buy another one. So if you guys have one like Bluetooth in your motherboard and you're not getting stable input delay or you're getting like three or four while using it wirelessly, then you definitely need to go and invest in another Bluetooth adapter. They're not expensive. And I'll leave a link down in the description for that too. Now that's pretty much it. The only other issue I was seeing that some of you were getting was that your emulated controller, you had to use it as DualShock 4 for it to work. Um, I do want to make sure that you guys go into your settings here. I'm going to hit cancel. Make sure you guys go into your settings and make sure this high DS4 controller is not on. Because if that's on, that will cause that. Also, you want to make sure you go back to your profiles. Go to other. And you want to make sure it's emulated as 360. And then you do not want to have to use D input. You don't want to have to use that. So don't click that either. Basically, you want to copy all the settings I have just like this. 